There are new calls for police to change some of their practices following a traffic stop in Lower Marion that ended with use of force. NBC 10's Leah Uko spoke with the state's Black Caucus leader about why they feel officers could have de-escalated the arrest. Tonight, State Representative Donna Balak is pushing for the state to pass legislation on releasing data on traffic stops. What we know is that our community, we're often advised to pull over to a place that's public, well lit, and I believe she intended to do that. The Pennsylvania Legislative Black Caucus is calling for Lower Marion to change its use of force policies, stating there are racial disparities in traffic stops with black motorists being targeted the most. This after a traffic stop on Sunday in Lower Marion ended with police using a taser on a driver. There are concerns that something else may have happened, and particularly in the black community, that is always a fear that if there isn't an eyewitness, that this could have escalated into an even more violent situation. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. This is video NBC 10 obtained from a witness at the scene on Sunday, January 8th. We hear what appears to be a Lower Marion police officer order the driver to step out of the car. She tells the officer she will not get out until their sergeant arrives there at Conshohocken State and Rock Hill Roads. Break the window. After several verbal warnings, the woman opens the door, then refuses to step out of the car as the officers try to place her under arrest. It's important to note it has not been disclosed what happened before the video or after. Lower Marion PD says it's investigating the incident as standard protocol. In a statement, the department explained a short chase led to the stop. The four officers, quote, encountered a non-compliant driver who actively resisted their follow-up investigation. Force was required to take the driver safely into custody. No injuries were reported to anyone involved in the incident. Leah Uko, NBC 10 News.